For more, I spoke to Ryan Patel. He's a global business executive who has worked for publicly traded companies and startups, and I asked him about talks on upgrading their free trade agreement. Well, yeah, I mean, they've come a long way now. It's north of 20 billion with trade, both with New Zealand and China. The first really bilateral trade that they had with China was almost from 1972, which was actually 2 million annually. So this is an important piece uh, for New Zealand. I think this is something that the timing of this is important to push with China. I think that China wants this to be, ex you know, the first Western deal country that's an important piece. You know, most people may argue that New Zealand is a smaller economically, economically piece to this puzzle, but for New Zealand, their biggest trading partner is China. What about uh, talk of the Belt and Road Initiative? Uh, both sides have been discussing this for a while. China really wants New Zealand to sign on to it. I love how you said China wants <laughs> New Zealand to sign on it. And I think it's, it's a part of the play that New Zealand has to. And I haven't, we haven't heard that they won't, but this is a big deal to be able to have to upgrade a free trade deal. And that's what New Zealand has really been pushing, is to upgrade the deal. And that China wants this. New Zealand is important in this aspect because they're kind of, I don't say neutral, between the Western and, and Asia. And they're kind of that kind of one of the key locks here in between both these countries. And I think that's why they become an important play if China can get New Zealand to be a part of it. This could lead to other dominoes effect, and it could be the pace, place that China actually uses leverage for other Western I mean, they're countries. pretty much on the edge of the neighborhood here. Yeah, I mean, and I think... As we know, they had some little bit issues back and forth in the last year is because of New Zealand's stance on multiple topics, and that's, that's where China's really trying to help them. Huawei is one of those topics. Uh, the prime minister is sort of backing off on some of the strongly reported words that she supposedly said regarding uh, Huawei in New Zealand, but it sounds like that she is open to examining the prospect of it. Well, she wasn't not just opening but examining. She actually stated that she walked them through their process and that they, and she made it very clear too to the press that they were independent of the other five countries that are a part of this, which is Canada, UK, the, in the US, and Australia. And that's pretty key here because she was talking about how they were not banning all products, that they're, -look, they're, they're looking at this independently and it was about cybersecurity. And so it left the door open that this conversation with China would happen versus closing it down, which then would go down to different paths. Again, mind you, six months ago, this is a different conversation between New Zealand and China. It's turned around very quickly in a positive direction. And again, trust has been the key word that both, both sides are looking. And this is one of those aspects where trust has to come into play. What exactly does New Zealand want out of this? I, you know, first and foremost, I think it, they've been cars on the table, upgraded free trade deal. You know, and I think for them, that is a really important piece to this. They know that they've really made a push. This has been renegotiation for two years now. Two years. And the Prime Minister of New Zealand has made an effort and made it this to be a key top priority. And China has paid attention to it. China knows that in the midst of her visiting and, and the, the tragic events that happened into New Zealand, she is in China being able to show that this is an important partnership. And China recognized that. Both sides talked about that. And when business and, a, and, business and citizens come together like that, I think it, it speaks volumes. Tourism, a huge industry in New Zealand. Uh, there is talk of this 2019 year of tourism between China and New Zealand. A lot of Chinese tourists visiting the region. Uh, what do you make of this partnership? Well, I tell you this, Chinese tourism is a weapon, weapon for good, I mean. It is something that is, in the next four or five years, people are going to continue to try to get because it's numbers at the end of the day. You talk about Singapore, you talk about Vietnam, you talk about all these places, Japan. It is now something that is a tool. It's a trade tool. 